here is just leave that and let the fat run. And this is something too that um, is quite interesting actually. And it was, whether you do bacon or whether you do mushrooms or whether you're doing a steak or a chicken breast or whether you're doing a fillet of fish. Oh look, it's getting lighter. That's lovely. Whether you're doing a fillet of fish, you know, tend to put things in a pan and start shaking them immediately or start turning things immediately. It's like when you're doing a steak. You know, if you do a steak and you turn it over like 10 times, or you turn it over once, and it's still going to spend the same amount of time on each side. But the problem is, what you're going to do, particularly when you want it rare or medium rare, is each time you take heat out of the pan, so each time it goes down, and you get less crust on the outside. This is the same thing here, every time we're shaking it, and this will be really funny, because I'll say this, and then guarantee next time I'm going to put something in a pan, I'll go over and I'll do this. And it's kind of irresistible, like a little habit, yeah. but it's not good for anything. And the other thing is, when you're frying like this, it's very important that if you don't get a good sizzle from the start, you just take it out. Because it won't get better. And this is always the thing, it's sort of the temptation, you put it in, and you think, well, it's not really sizzling, but it's going to be okay, it'll be fine. But what happens, of course, all the milky stuff is it starts coming out, and you'll never get the same sort of lovely caramelization. So now, if you just pop the mushrooms in, please. Yep. And then the onions. That's great. And then there's some butter there. There's a nice big knob of butter. Yep. And see, I'll stack these up. So I'm not actually going to do any cooking butter. I'm going to do it yep. all. Yep. Pop that in there as well. That's great. Okay. And I'll just, tidy, I'll just tidy up as you go. And this is the thing. You can see, when I did my um, little chat there, where we were talking about the book, I was saying about having everything in front of you. And see, Camille's never done these recipes. She's not a plant. She's not my sister. Okay, so um, because we, we did a similar sort of thing in London, everyone was convinced that the woman who did everything was a plant, but no, it's not the case. But anyway, so having everything laid out in front of you, and if you're doing the recipe for the first time, having it with the order in which the recipe goes, and that way you're never going to forget anything, and you're going to put it in, in the right order. In the right